cover a tip from George Jowett's Guerrilla Self-Defense Manual. Uh, I went through this, and there are things in here that I learned when I was a master myself, and I've seen taught by grandmasters, and this is one of them. All right. Now, one of the things you will learn in the manual is a thing that George Jowett calls crowding. Now, today we have terms like jujitsu and other terms, but they called it crowding back in the 30s and 40s. And what that would be is being in real close. No, face me. Being in real close. And he said, one way, okay, to handle the situation is if you're crowding someone, let's say this foot is forward, is to step, feel that? And slam down on his foot. Okay, we'll move over here so you can see us a little better. Okay, slam down on the foot, okay, or just slice down on the shin when in crowding to give him a message. Now, I'm going to show you a pressure point in a close-up in just a minute, but I just want to show you something when I do this. Hey, look at that. Could you switch sides? Watch his face when I step on this. I'm going to show you this close-up in a minute, but it works. All right, if you're lucky enough to be crowded from the back, okay, you can strike there. All right, now this was one of the effects he was talking about when in close, let's say we're in close, is to try to <laughs> stomp on that foot. All right, now, okay, now here's a close-up of that pressure point without me being in the film, in the picture. Take a look at the toes, where the baby toe is, in between the baby toe and the next toe up, right down the middle, right there. You push here, look at that. One finger watch. Okay, all right. Do you see how he was starting to, his legs were starting to give way. If I do this, he will actually go to the floor. If I bang this, he cannot stand on that foot. If I strop it, if I slide off it, if I twist into it, okay? This is what George Jowett was talking about. This is a pain point that he was teaching up in the, in the 20s. And we're just rediscovering him today. I'm gonna to tell you something. There's a lot of hidden knowledge in the old masters that were strength trainers back then. They all did jujitsu. Anyways, that's exactly where it is there. You can screw around on your own foot and find it. A stomp there will cripple that foot. And that's what he was talking about sliding off there. And how you position yourself and do it is all up to you. Now one last thing he mentions, and I think this is on page 10 and 11, switching the guard. Now I actually saw Grandmaster do this at a workout we were taking with him. He seemed to have a little jackrabbit student that was a little afraid, and every time he tried to come in and make a move, he'd jump off, uh, off the stage. So the Grandmaster did this, and he just took a step here. And see? He stepped on the foot. I've done this many a times, and when someone's not paying attention, and you move at them, and they expect to jump back, and you step here, that foot gets caught, and they almost fall on their butt. I've seen people fall, but at least they go like, you okay? They go like this, and let's switch sides. Okay, again, he jumps back, I step, they go back, they lose the balance, and now they're just wide open for your next technique, whatever it may be. And that's just some of the surprises in this manual. There's a lot more, and if you get it, and enough people ask, I'll make a whole video course on it because this is some great stuff. All right? All right, catch you later.